Hello world, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. And today I've got another food recall for you. It's March 24th, 2022. Meet me on the other side. Hi everybody, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. I got another food recall for you. It's March 24th, 2022. More than 30 cut fruit, vegetable, and dip products are being recalled because of listeria. You don't want listeria now. Fresh Fruit Inc. Up, Fresh Fruit Up Inc. is recalling fresh cut fruits, vegetables, products, and ready to eat dips processed at the Depew, New York production facility. Why? Because of listeria contamination. This recall was initiated after results from an environmental testing program found the surfaces where the products were packaged, the surfaces where they do the packaging, into containers to be contaminated with listeria. Yep, I told you. Now, this is according to the company's recall notice posted by the Food and Drug Administration. You know, fresh, fr fresh cut fruits and vegetables can become contaminated by touching the preparation and storage surfaces and by cutting utensils, dragging across bacteria into the flesh. Recalled items from the facility are distributed in New York and unnamed surrounding areas, whatever that means. Some were distributed in Wegmans locations. And this just goes to show you, you know, this week so far, because they're wearing me out, we talked about pancake mix being recalled, right? Uh, just yesterday, I did another recall uh, for more uh, things that were in the um, in packaging that, that shouldn't be there. You know, plastic pieces, clear plastic pieces, so on and so forth. And as you can see, this runs across the board. This is, you know, everybody's got to wake up. This is not just for meat products or, or packaged goods like pancake mixes and things like that. Your fresh fruits that you're getting, the fresh fruits that you're getting. Did you know, by the way, <clears throat> just to let you know this, I did a, a an expose a couple years ago. You know, a lot of these supermarkets, when you have, when you see fresh fruit, I mean fresh whole fruit, that's one thing. When that fruit starts to get old, what a lot of supermarkets will do is pull it off the shelves and you think they throw it away, but they don't. What do they do? They cut it up into smaller pieces, put it in those little plastic containers, put it back out on the shelves and sell it to you. Think about that. That's what happens a lot. You see, when it gets close to the expiration or when it's waning or it doesn't look so good, then they start to splice it up, put it in a thing. Isn't that ironic that you're getting old stuff, you're paying more because they cut it for you, <laughs> but it doesn't change it, man. You don't want old fruit. And that's what you're getting pretty much. So everybody, you got to become unlazy. Buy your whole fruit, know that it's fresh, and then cut it up yourself at home. That's the best way to do it. As we head in, into spring now, and we're going to be going into summer, the instances of listeria, salmonella, and all these other bacteriums are going to increase, as they usually do. I'm getting reports now about lettuces being contaminated again. This is a multi-year thing that's been happening. This is not just indicative of this year. This keeps going on and on and on. So what's the problem here? What needs to be fixed? What's broken? Are there not enough inspectors? Is our government spending too much money in the wrong places? You know, if you're not healthy, if you can't get food that's healthy, how the heck are you supposed to stay healthy? You know, all this other stuff, you know, if maybe you might get a cold or a flu, well, what does that matter? Because if you're not healthy, you're going to get sick anyway. <laughs> so listen, take my advice. Buy whole fruit, bring it home, cut it up yourself, because I'm getting worn out on these food safety recalls. But they keep coming, and I'm going to keep bringing them to you. I don't mean to bore you. Some of these affect you personally. Some may affect the friends that you know. So get this information out because it's not widely distributed. 
And by the time you might hear about it from the talking heads on TV, it's been in circulation for a long time. Think about this. Listeria, you know, can take anywhere from two to 70, that's seven zero days to show and present symptoms. Mm -hmm. That's right. So by the time someone may be affected by the listeria, they may never be able to piece together where they actually got the listeria from. What most people do is they go, huh, what did I eat last night? What did I eat this morning? What did I eat this afternoon? But that's not going to show that same day pretty much. So it could take up to 70 days, seven zero days. Think about that. So you really have to be paying attention to what you're shopping for, how you're buying it. Don't be lazy and buy all this cut up stuff because the cut up stuff is usually the stuff that's older, that doesn't look good on the shelves in the produce department any longer. They bring it into the back, they cut it all up, put it back in a nice little container for you, and then you could buy it at a higher price because it's already cut up for you, but it's old. And my God, anything can happen with that. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you other things on a couple other videos I'm gonna be doing because sometimes it's good to recap. I haven't done them in a while, but you need to be aware of this stuff. You need to know about the tips and the tricks that supermarkets use to make you think you're getting fresh stuff when it's really not fresh. All right, everybody, this is the video of the day. It is March 24th, 2022. We've got one more day before Friday. Woo! <laughs> Gotta love it, don't you? All right, everybody, share it with your friends, comment, like, whatever. Have a great day. God bless you. God bless this country. God bless your safety and God bless your health. Bye-bye now.